Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a baby gear haul. These are just some of the things that we have solely been purchasing or gifts that we have received from our family and friends and I'm so excited to share them with you. Obviously I can't give any opinions or reviews on them because I haven't used them yet but I just wanted to share with you what we're really excited about. For our stroller we decided to buy the Baby Jogger Summit X3 all-terrain jogging stroller and we were torn between the City Select and also the City Mini GT but ultimately this one kind of hit everything that we had wanted in a stroller and it was also on sale for $200 off so that helped. Um, but we will be using it as a travel system so we just have to buy the adapters to add our car seat onto. But we're very happy with our decision. Again we were kind of back and forth between it all but I think that this was the best fit for us. So the first thing that I wanted to show you was the diaper bag that I purchased and I looked into diaper bags for probably about a year and when I found this one I seriously had my heart set on it. I loved the print, I watched a gazillion review videos, I watched what's in my diaper bag videos about it and I'm really 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 excited to finally start using it. And it is the Juju B. BFF in the print Queen of the Nile and it is the one that you can wear it as a backpack or you can wear it as like a satchel messenger over the shoulder type bag and I am so excited to start using this bag. I think the print is beautiful. I just think it's not so like tacky as some of the other ones can be. I was contemplating just getting a plain black one so that Dan would carry it but then I mean in the end I'll probably be the one carrying this most of the time anyways so I wanted it to be something that I liked and I'm very so far I'm really impressed with the quality of it so we will see once I start using it but so far I really really like it so stay tuned for my review video and what's my diaper bag video for this one. Um, this next item is actually a present from Dan's sister and brother-in-law from Christmas and it is the Baby Bjorn Carrier and it, this one is just black and I'm really 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 excited to start using it. I also want to get a like a Moby wrap or something but I think this will be perfect for when we take the dogs out hiking and for traveling and flying and everything like that. So I'm really really excited to use this and we were really shocked when they bought this for us at Christmas, so very excited to start using this. And again, I'll probably do a review video on it, just because I know a lot of people are torn between the baby, the Ergo baby or whatever, <laughs> and the baby Bjorn, so we will see. I've actually used the Ergo with my friend's child when we used to do hikes, and I liked it, but I mean, I felt like putting it on was a bit of a hassle and we have put this on just as like a trial run and I found it was a lot easier so we'll see once we have the actual baby. This next item, I actually just received it in the mail the other day. I will be doing a review video on it and it is the Milk Snob Car Seat and Nursing Cover. And I just got the black and white print because I feel like it was just the most versatile and they say babies respond better to the black and white colors in the very beginning. So I'm really, really excited to use this. I've heard really great reviews on it, so once our baby comes, I will for sure be doing a review video and letting you know what I think of this. Uh, the next few items are mostly just clothes and blankets. Uh, my stepmom and dad sent us these really, really nice handmade blankets. They sent these before they knew the gender, so um, this one is more gender neutral, but I love it. I think it'll be perfect for tummy time and just laying down. And Dan's a huge comic book fan, so she also sent a Batman print one, which we're having a girl, but honestly it doesn't matter. This is still perfect. These next ones are mostly just for the nursery, like nursery decor if you want to call it. I bought these um, before I was pregnant just because I wanted to get them before they sold out and I was scared that by the time I did get pregnant they wouldn't have them anymore. But it is the Magic Bunny book and then it comes with the matching... Okay, Dan put a diaper on this. This isn't actually how it is. <laughs> we uh, received these free diapers so he wanted to try it out. But anyways, 
the book and then the matching bunny. So I thought these were super cute and we're gonna have them in the nursery. So these next items are mostly just clothing that we have either purchased ourselves or family and friends have given to us. So the first one is, this was our first purchase when we found out if we were having a girl. I just couldn't resist buying something. I know that we're going to get a lot of clothes for our baby registry from our family and friends, but I mean, I needed to buy something <laughs> because how can you not? So I bought these really cute little onesies. I like more neutral colors, but I definitely had to get some things that were pink. And that one. I just thought they were super cute. I believe they're newborn. Since we're having a June baby, I liked that they were the t-shirts and they're just really nice and thin. Next one, a lot of these clothes coming up are more gender neutral just because we received them as gifts before we knew the gender. But this one was from my mom. It's just a little sleeper and it just says I love mommy, I love family, and I love daddy. Really cute. This was from Dan's mom, my mother-in-law. Really cute little sleeper again. We got these at Christmas. And then since we are having a June baby and we live in Canada, my mom bought a little Canada Day outfit for July 1st. I thought that was cute. Then we just got some gender neutral bibs. Another little summer outfit. And then this Dan and I bought before we knew the gender, but it doesn't really matter. Again, it's just like a Batman little onesie. These we received from my mom. They're just little scratch mittens. And then my stepmom sent us a little Winnie the Pooh pajama set, which I thought was really cute. Again, gender neutral. <laughs> And then I bought these most recently at Walmart because they were on sale. And they're just cute little leggings. I just couldn't resist. They're so tiny and adorable. And I just wanted really something basic. Something that she can wear all the time. And then of course I had to get a little sleeper. Just a little zip up sleeper. So that is basically it for what we have now. I have ordered a few other things online that I'm waiting to... Um, waiting for them to come in the mail. You just, I don't know, I just couldn't resist buying some things. So I will stop now though, because I know our family and friends are just dying to buy baby clothes as well. So I don't want too much of everything. So once I get my next little shipment in, I'll do another video. But until then, we're basically just waiting for our baby shower so that we can get some things off our registry. So that is it for our first baby haul. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for our upcoming baby hauls and my review videos as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our updates. Thanks so much for watching.